Today we are taking you to the country of Belize, once the heartland of the ancient Maya Empire. At the center of this historic land is Zunantunic, one of Belize's most impressive Mayan ruins. To get to the ruins, we had to drive about 2.5 hours from Belize's city center. Once we were close, we had to cross a small river using a barge on a pulley system that would only allow a maximum of four cars per river crossing. The experience was fantastic and it made it feel like we had begun our adventure to travel back in time, to the time of the Mayans. The size of the ruins was very impressive once we reached the site. The core of the city of Zunantunic occupies about two and a half square kilometers, consisting of a series of six plazas surrounded by more than 26 temples and palaces. You can see there has been restoration and preservation work done to the stone. It gives a better understanding of what it would have looked like when it was first created. Large cities were built that housed hundreds of thousands of people. One of Zunantunic's better known structures is the pyramid known as El Castillo, not to be confused with the El Castillo at Chichen Itza. Walking up these huge steps was extremely tiring in the immense heat. I could only imagine how the Maya felt when they were doing their daily tasks, or worse, when building the site. The first modern explorations of the site were conducted by Thomas Gann in the mid-1890s. The original name for the city had been lost. In 1892, after a claim that the city was haunted by the ghost of a woman who had dressed completely in white and had fire-red glowing eyes, local Maya gave the city the modern name of Zunantunic, meaning Stone Woman. Once a prosperous city-state during the classical Maya era, Zunantunic once was the home to 200,000 people, equivalent to two-thirds of Belize's current population. Belize's beautiful weather, nutrient-rich soils, and abundance of marine life fueled a population explosion during the time of the ancient Maya. All that is left of the ancient metropolis are the ruins that you see now. From the top of one of the highest ruins looking southwest into the distance, you can see White Buildings, which is a town that borders the countries of Belize and Guatemala. Zunantunic was the first Maya ruin to be opened for visitors in 1950, due to its proximity to the city of San Ignacio. Today, Zunantunic is one of the most popular Mayan ruin sites in Belize and is visited by thousands of tourists every year.